physical practice. Getting much better. Like the progress of our wideouts the last couple of days. Uh, some guys are really starting to make plays, and we're playing faster and improving. Uh, again, the defensively, we're, we're say the secondary guys. I think are still doing a great job. Uh, very competitive practice. A lot of situational work. Two minute goal line, no huddle stuff. I mean, tons of different looks. Uh, but again, I like the physicality and the tempo. Last three days, the tempo and stuff has been back to where I expected to be. We're playing football the way we should be playing. Otherwise, we weren't playing. It wasn't we playing bad, but we wasn't we wasn't playing with an edge. The last three or four days, we're starting to play with an edge and getting physical and nasty. And very proud of the way we've been doing things. Right. Questions? You guys have been doing a lot of cross training of offensive linemen. How is it? How important is that? Just it's critical reference? because you 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 know you get and it has two things. One, guys get injured. You always have a guy who knows what to do. And two, you get a greater appreciation when you're playing your position of what the other guy has to do when certain looks. So you know when to give him extra help, or you may need ex, you, you you get a better knowledge of the game and, and truly what the other guys are trying to do beside you. Because sometimes you get caught up in your own little world. And I think it's very critical there, and it, it's a big thing we always do. Have you liked what you've seen out of those guys? Yeah, very center? well. I really have. I, I tell you what, Cam Irving in their center, very, I mean, scary good. Scary good because of how athletic he is. He can bend and run and move. But Barry has been doing a nice job also. So, I mean, you know, I, a lot of, it gives you a lot of opportunities. And, and I tell you what, Josue Matias, a tackle, wow. Really, really nice job out wide. Question? You mentioned the wide receivers. How much is Bobo playing today? Is he, he's a bunch. He, he, Bobo, Bobo had some real nice plays today. Uh, Christian Green had a couple today. We got to continue to keep getting better. Uh, Kerman at times, but I mean we're 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 getting there. We're getting there, and we're we're just got to make them get to come to Jameis's level. I don't. I mean, and you got to force it and not ad lib it, and and they're getting there. Their work and their attitude has been really good. The last three days made a lot of progress in my opinion. What does Bobo give you about wide? What kind of player is he? We didn't get to see him. Fast. I mean, he's got great speed. He can get some deep ball. He's got great running skills afterwards. He can stick his foot in the ground and change direction. Got really good body quick and strong for his size. Very strong physically. What are you seeing from Keith Bryant? Getting better and better. Keith had a good off season, and now his toughness is like learning how to take on blocks and you know not you know not get overwhelmed by the whole scheme of things is learning his assignments and and, and developing I, i've been he's got ways to go but i like him. Keith's going to be a good player Keith's going to be a really good player you're one about seven area programs that's using these new riddell speed flex helmets did you approach them did they approach you how did that come about they all they bring them to us with ideas just see if we'll try them and see how they fit each other with any feedback so far on uh, no, we'll wait for springs over that's pretty speed huh i've been very pleased and i'm gonna tell you what freddie back freddie can run the ball Put Freddie back on the goal line tailback. I'm gonna tell you what, extremely natural runner with the football. Heavy runner, and I'm gonna tell you in the field. And some of that one back stuff that we're so nicked up, having to play him at one back as a, as a tailback. I like what I see out of him. And not only as a fullback, but as a big tailback. And can catch the ball and it's a good pass blocker. I mean, very talented guy. Very talented guy. Did he play running back in high school? Oh yeah, he did. Played high, you know, played tight end, played running back and, and linebacker, and that's why I loved him. I mean he had two or three things, knew he'd be a great special teams guy. He got really good ball skills, natural run, keeps his Pads very square the last scrimmage, very good hips. It has power and speed. I mean, uh, I really liked what I saw. Did you? I mean, I know he was he was listed as a linebacker. He was. Well, he started linebacker here, and we we wanted to work some depth at fullback. And I just he was doing some things at linebacker, and, and it just put him over there to look at him because we cross trained. And I just think it's very natural. I think he's a natural offensive football player. But you saw that on tape in high school. Oh yes, you did. Him. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Could you get Mario Pender back for the spring game? Get him out there. Oh yeah, he's back. Pender was back now. Full speed. Yeah, he, he practiced all day. He's good. How is he coming along? Very good. Ran the ball really well. Got a lot of juice. You get the ball in space, can catch it. But I tell you what, he's a strong. He's 195 pounds, but he's strong. I mean, and a really good tackle to tackle runner. I like I like him. And when he sticks his foot, he runs violent. He has explosion. He, and I tell you what, he's a really good goal line runner. You think he's not a big guy? Really good goal line runner. Has a knack to just sink that pad and get under you. And he's strong, so he can see and he can create leverage on the goal line. Plus, when he gets an edge, he ain't gonna catch it. Coach, uh, how has Jameis progressed so far, and, and what's his interaction with the receivers? I'm gonna like? be in the last two or three. I mean, first part it was good, but I, I've really like we've cranked up practice and the intensity's gotten going, and he's really getting into spring ball right now, in my opinion, starting to make plays. And and it's frustrating at, at times for him, and I don't mean this as, a, as any not, but but he, I mean, getting those guys to where he sees things and does things. And, I, and then he starts, early what he was doing was trying to compensate a little bit. Well, I, I know he can't do this, or I'll throw it here, even though the read, go, you can't do that. We'll bring, the, we'll get those receivers to his level, and he's been forcing them to do that, and I think been very sharp the last couple of days. How does he interact with them? Is he a guy that will get on them? You ain't lying, he will. Yeah. yeah. 
You ain't lying to me. And I like it. I mean, because, but he does it in a good way. It's not, but then he demands. I mean, you know, he, he's in charge. You got to get him to where he, how he likes it and what he does. It's been a, and they respond. They understand. Yeah. He's not doing it from a nasty. He's wanting to do, okay, we got to get here. It's where we got to go to win. And they know that's how, that's how he thinks and what he's about.